hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya same if this is your first time of coming across this channel sweetheart kindly smash the subscribe button turn on the notification so again notify each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all and i want to say a very big thank you to every one of you for always coming back to watch my videos and subscribing always coming through for me you all are super awesome thank you all so much so today we'll be checking out a white lady who fetishizes black men right and she is being like broad left right and uh a black man is actually somewhere defending her i ain't gonna lie to you about this and also i am gonna cut this video there are some part you are not gonna see because there are some kids on the video and i do not want them to show but you know what i am gonna keep the link in the comment section pin so you all can go there and like watch the full video for yourself right kids are involved and i don't want to involve them into that and it's kind of like crazy how a mother like you know doing that kind of thing and also brought her children into it stay good to the screen let me just roll the clips straight up and then we'll come back to talk about it let me know what you all think in the comment section so straight up let me roll that never bringing up anybody's family but what this white woman is doing is extremely dangerous towards black men y'all want to be my sugar baby y'all better join in quick the money goes quick hurry up join in while at the same time mocking black women a b c d e f g these hoes don't like me so let's get into it see first she traps in the black men if y'all like white girls do at this video right now then she traps in the white women white women where are y'all at i got all the black men in the comments i'm trying to play matchmaker here so i can go to y'all weddings eat the good food and go to the cookouts come on period and then she gets them together hey guys booty brie in the building how y'all doing listen i'm gonna be live this morning at 9 a.m so if you're single and you're ready to mingle i need y'all to tune in come join us for the fun it is so much fun inside there the chat goes crazy and i need y'all to come join us and make the chat go crazy and once she gets them all to check in she gets to make the most amount of money she can oh my god oh my god wait kevin everything's double right now everything's double everything's double everything's double kevin everything's double right now y'all everything's double let's drop it right now we got 27 seconds everything's double And once she does that, then she makes the black men come to her. I'm saying my mama's not a sugar mama. Come for, come join her life and make some cash. Make some rain. Make it rain on them hoes. I make it rain. And then proceeds to take those black men out on dates. I'm going to be at four places at one time on February 14th. And then jokes about having affairs with black men. Oh my god truck i'm so excited that you're training me now i know right <sighs> who would have ever thought that i would be in bed with my coach i never never mix business with pleasure chocolate my crib tonight you're my first nobody oh my god i'm so sorry you brought that white bitch up in my house why would you bring that bitch up in here and then rakes in all the cash. But it gets way worse than that. And I just had to let him punch me because I deserved it. Yeah, that, that's a filter. I'm going live right now in the hospital. And I'm giving away free cash prizes. So make sure you join my live right now. But in her caption, she hashtag black men, bruised, help, and black eye. When she was really there for COVID. And it's gotten so bad where black men have requested for her to unfollow them. Hey, unfollow me, gang. I ain't gonna cap. Unfollow me. Be wrestling with one other and say you're acting like this. Oh, and when she blocks them, she asked them to pay her money so she could unblock them. So, like, unfortunately, my block list is probably a lot longer than my friends list. So, I was just gonna let you guys know that if you guys want to be unblocked, it's a $300 fee. Cash out me that money. We got the money, honey. We got the money, honey. So to all the black men, don't fall for a trap. Hey, y'all, listen. On Friday night, I'm taking one of my sugar babies out on a date. And I'm going to spoil the shit out of them. And to this white woman, 
who use your children as pawns and entrap black men and make fake accusations against them. This ain't no joke. This ain't no game. It's white women like you is the reason why men like Emmett Till is dead. And why black cities have been burnt to the fucking ground. And why black men are wrongly convicted and imprisoned for white women like you. You are the epitome of danger when it comes to white men, white women fetishizing black men. And I hope you see this video and realize what the fuck you're doing and put it into it. And also, when you put Blondes Do It Better in almost every one of your fucking videos, what you are doing is, is telling your little brown girls that their hair and their beauty is no match to yours, which only infuels white supremacy and this white society that we live in, which continues racism. So, Booty Bree, I hope you watch this video all the way through and take it extremely serious because not only are you putting black men's life in danger, but you are putting your little girls' lives in danger. My name's Eric Stone. Doses. Um, I will now be identified as a black woman. It's, it's, it's entirely too fucking early for this. I cannot, absolutely cannot tell if she's joking or not. But it's too fucking early. And I'm speaking for the uh, black delegation, the army of black people behind me, you know what I'm saying, my community. We're going to reject your um, request and send it directly to the Latino com uh, community. Or even, you know what, we'll, we'll help you. And there is actually more to this video. I mean, this is not the end. And I am also going to roll the video. But I want to ask, like, so some black men. Anyway, okay, I have no say over this. And I'm just going to leave this over to you all to let me know what you all think in the comment section. So let me roll the second clip before we get into the stitch. Because somebody also stitched to this video. So here we go. Remember her? Here we go. Hey guys, it's Booty Bree back in the building. So unfortunately, it's time for us to have a little serious conversation. Yeah, she posted a response video. But before we get into that, she found a black man who was a conservative to defend her. One of Eric Brian Stone's followers, so he sent the troller woman by the name of Booty Bree in her comment section. Booty Bree makes content that pretty much is uplifting the black men, like Eric Brian Stone makes content that's uplifting the black women. Both of them are very successful at what they do because for some reason, you know, being a white savior is starting to become a better grift than being a black conservative. White savior. Okay, let's talk about it. Come on, Eric. Let's lay our cards on the table. We're both grifters. We're both actors, nope. we're both directors, nope. we're both musicians, nope. and ended up somehow grifting on this app. Nope. My grift is that of a black redneck, and your grift is that of a white savior. But never have I ever in my grift sat back and watched someone disrespect black people without stepping up and G-checking it. First off, you could have watched this entire Vulcan video where I talk about my so-called acting career and my music career, but you failed to do so. You want to talk about white privilege and white supremacy? You're the epitome of it. Yep. Because there's not one black man on the face of this planet that can pander to white women, get them to fighting against their men, and further tearing their community apart, benefiting financially from it, and get another white person to silence them for calling it out. Oh, now we get into the juice of the whole lay all my cards on the table right this is the kind of money i was making in 2019 before i started doing this but since you failed to watch this video i went from living my best fucking life where i was making so much money i was wiping my ass with it and i was also making other people rich to fighting to end white supremacy so what happened to my finances once i started doing that hmm end of 2020 end of 2021 and end of 2022 and here's how much money i made from my merch total i started that in june of last year that's 10 months if you do the fucking math that's only 420 dollars per month and by the way if you know anything about products and sales you know that all that ain't fucking profit 
about 40% of that I get to keep. The rest of it, I don't get shit. So before you call me a grifter or say I'm doing this for fucking money, do your fucking research. But it's nice to know that black conservative men are openly coming out admitting that they are grifting the white conservative community to make some money. Also, the fact that you have over 100,000 followers, but can barely get 1,000 views, tells me all I need to know. Because the reason why people engage with my content is because it's authentic, and I actually give a fuck about the people. I'm not just doing it for fucking clicks, or to make some fucking money. Now on to the fucking next. Doses. We're going to first start off talking about my content. My content appears to be funny to a lot of people, no. but is also offensive to TikTok is not real life. It is one that affects real fucking people. Now continue. So with that being said, there is no reason my life, my children's life, or my family's life should ever be threatened over some content. That is ridiculous. Especially whenever I've never threatened anybody's life on here. So we're just going to pretend that this never happened with the fake filter, right? I love black people. My children are black. The father of my children are black. And I will never put anything on TikTok degrading black people. Transracial. Um, I will now be identified as a black woman. You do realize once it's on the internet, it's forever on the internet, right? Everything I put on TikTok is to not be taken seriously. Yes, I love black men. We all know that. It's not like I'm obsessed with it or... I just want to let you guys know that I like my men like I like my candy bars. Let's be grown-ups. If you guys don't like the content, you can keep scrolling. You can press the black button if you don't. If... But I think death threats is a little... Now, once in my video, did I ever give you any kind of threat? I just displayed the kind of person that you fucking are. And yet, she is also claiming I'm doing it for views. Baby girl, I have more followers than you on every fucking platform. And my engagement is through the roof compared to you. So to the both of you who like to grift entire communities to make some money, this is who you really are. And I don't give a fuck if you like it or not. The truth always fucking hurts. My name is Eric Stone. Doses. Awesome. Stop using your little girls to make some fucking money. It's sick. Fetishized. I know it. A lot of white girls look. I'm Booty Bree. And I got a lot of white girls looking for you. I know a lot of black men who would find that attractive. Basically being fetishized. I know it. I get that. Whatever. Whatever gets your rocks off, but no. No. She almost sounds like I feel like I'm on the set of Mandingo. Like I'm the penis extra. Like I'm nothing more than a jank with eyes. That is not attractive. Like you don't want to know me. You don't want to know how I am. You don't want to know what I believe in. None of that. You just, just swinging meat, huh? Just 10 inches of love thing and teeth. So this is all we got from the stitches. And uh, yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section, man. This is, yeah, I've got a lot to actually say, but I am just going to relax. I'll let you all talk to me. I'm going to read all your comments in the comment section. Thank you all so much for all the support and see you all in my next video. Bye for now.